friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss about the selective grinding procedures in complete tensors this procedure is done to recover the desired form of the tooth and occlusion developed prior to processing of the dentures this is the basic rule that is bull rule what is bull it is buccal upper lower lingual which advocates the grinding of mentioned cusp without modifying the functional cusp should be used while performing the correction so you, we can grind the upper buccal and lower lingual this is the general rule that is bull rule for checking the occlusal prematurities we are using articulating paper so here the articulating paper is used for the for checking the occlusal prematurities okay and the centric occlusion is re established with selective grinding and incisal pin also touching the center of the incisal table so centric occlusion is re established okay and more specific errors in the centric and eccentric positions and their rectification are given in this video okay these are the rectification of errors in the centric occlusion which are they so this is the centric errors and their rectification this is the error 1 this is 2 and this is 3 what is error 1 here two long teeth this one is the error 2 that is edge to edge contact of the tooth and error 3 is greater horizontal overlap okay coming to the rectification of errors in the centric occlusion so this is the picture showing the rectification of errors in the centric occlusion that is a pair of opposing teeth it is too long keeping the other teeth out of occlusal contact and the rectification is by deepening the fossa okay so here two long teeth so fossa deepening is the rectification coming to the error 2 maxillary and mandibular posterior teeth are in edge to edge contact here it is accomplished by grinding the lingual incline of palatal cusp of maxillary tooth and buccal incline of buccal cusp of mandibular tooth and the cusp are not reduced in height so this is the error 2 what is error 3 buccal positioning of the maxillary posterior teeth in relation to the mandibular teeth okay the rectification is by the maxillary palatal cusp which is narrowed by widening of the central fossa that is grinding the buccal incline of the palatal cusp okay and the mandibular buccal cusp is moved buccally by grinding the palatal incline of the buccal cusp thereby widening the central fossa so actually the maxillary palatal cusp is narrowed by widening of the central fossa that is error number 3 Occlusal errors on working side can be in sagittal as well as frontal plane. Okay, these are the errors in the frontal plane. That is, longer buccal cusp on one tooth along with the longer lingual cusp of its antagonist. Okay, long buccal cusp and long lingual cusp. So these are the errors in the frontal plane. So maxillary and mandibular posterior lingual cusp are too long. Here in this picture, it shows the maxillary and mandibular posterior lingual cusp are too long. So rectification is by maxillary buccal cusp and mandibular lingual cusp are reduced. Okay. Next one is the presence of only buccal cusp contact. Here it is rectified by maxillary buccal cusp or palatal incline is reduced. Presence of only lingual cusp contact. In this picture, it shows the lingual cusp contact only. Okay, it is rectified by mandibular lingual cusp is reduced by grinding the buccal incline. Okay. 
Coming to the arrows in the sagittal plane. These are the working side arrows in sagittal plane and its rectification. So maxillary buccal and lingual cusp are mesial to the maxima intercuspation. And maxillary buccal and lingual cusp distal to the maxima intercuspation. These are the two types of arrows in sagittal plane. Okay. Here the maxillary buccal or lingual cusp are placed mesial to their maxima intercuspal position. How it is corrected? It is corrected by grinding the mesial inclines of the maxillary buccal cusp and distal inclines of the mandibular buccal cusp. Here the maxillary buccal and lingual cusp are placed distal to the maxima intercuspal position. This is the distal side and this is the mesial side. This is rectified by grinding of the distal inclines of the maxillary cusp and mesial inclines of the mandibular cusp. So next error is the uh, there is no occlusal contact on the working side. Okay, its cause is the excessive contact on the non-working side. And the rectification is that the parts ground over the mandibular buccal cusp to reduce the incline of the part of the cusp that is preventing the tooth contact on the working side. Okay, this is the third number of error. Okay. And coming to the rectification of non-working side errors. It can be due to lack of contact or excessive contact preventing the contact on the working side. This is when working side errors are corrected as explained previously. Okay. And the rectification of errors in the protrusion by reducing the distal lingual inclines of the maxillary, maxillary buccal cusp and mesial buccal inclines of the mandibular lingual cusp. Okay. So these are the various electric grinding procedures in detail. That's all for today's lecture. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.